Hello, my name is Mary Evans and I'm the Chief Pharmacist of the Luton and Dunstable University Hospital, a typical DTH with about 700 inpatient beds. We provide a standard pharmacy service, the usual mix of patient-facing and non-facing roles. I've always seen our number one core responsibility to ensure the right medicine is in the right place at the right time. You can have the most brilliant clinical pharmacy service, but if the medicine is not available, it is to no avail. The recent Carter report on productivity and performance has flipped that on its head. And it is clear that going forward, our main role in hospital pharmacy will be the patient-facing medicines optimisation role. The scale and the scope of the transformative ambition in the Clark Report now needs to be translated by each trust into a hospital pharmacy transformation plan. The idea being through consolidation of non-clinical activities, we release resources to enable us to maximise our patient-facing medicines optimization service. It is important that we do this without compromising the efficient and assured supply of medicines. The degree of central detailed target setting that comes with this report and the ongoing oversight of metrics and the introduction of the plan is possibly unique in hospital pharmacy, at least in my experience. I think we're all in for a very interesting ride over the next few years. At MedGov on Twitter are including a tweet chat on the implications of the Carter Report as one of their NHS shared learning programmes.